hello nice people welcome back to my channel don't forget to like share comment and subscribe hit the subscribe button if you're new and for the returning subscribers i love you so much and so according to our topic today 14 kenyan celebrities trend job before fame or we can say before becoming famous most of you have found these celebrities living their dream and doing their dream jobs but did you know they did not start from here and they had to do those odd and strange jobs to get to where they are you know what guys let us start this video and make sure you watch it till the end We all know that no one is born a star, even from our own favorite Kenyan celebrities had to earn a living before fame and money arrived. They had to do some of these strange and weird jobs to pay their bills while pursuing their dream, just like the rest of us, from hawking to even being matatu touts. But a big disclaimer, some of these jobs that these Kenyan celebrities did before fame seems to be awful according to them, but right now normal Kenyans are doing the same kind of jobs and earning a living from it. So so let us start from our first celebrity. Number one, we do have this socialite here in Kenya, a business lady and also a mother to one son known as Ambare. The outspoken socialite has not had it easy as people always assume. In the past, she has opened up to working as a waitress. She also revealed that she used to sell tripe and that is matumbo. And I'll quote, Nimeuza matumbo, cereals, uh, nimeuza maziwa, nimekua waitress, and my last job nilikuwa head of customer care is citizen. And still in between i was trying several businesses come aside hustle it's just that we don't Despite look from all the drama that we, we know of Ambare we snatching Amira's husband and according to kenyans she is a husband snatcher this is what she had to say there's no easy way to succeed Ata kupata pesa from a man you must have your own money kwanza you can't let people feed you all the time because they are humans and you must get tired without a notice Ambare is today a celebrated business woman and a brand ambassador for different product let us know your thoughts in the comment section could you have pictured that this beautiful lady known as ambare used to sell matumbo and that is intestines number two we do have this former tahidi high actor known as omosh Joseph Kinudia aka Omosh, according to him, hustling was a way to put food on the table. He used to load garbage on trucks despite being a certified public accountant. Although he once landed a bookkeeping job at a city accounting firm, it ended when a former government official bought the company. Apart from that, at one point also Omosh was employed as a driver, but that was not enough. In the evening, he fashioned out flat iron sheets from tar drums that he sold to make that badly needed extra shillings, which earned him 10 shillings each. After that, he got a breakthrough by joining Tahidi High. But after Tahidi came to an end, things are not the same with Omosh to date since he got back to hustling and even to a point where Kenyans are helping him. Let us know what you think in the comment section. Our third celebrity, we do have the boss lady and that is Akode. The Kenyan musician Akode, popularly known as Madame Boz, is a true personification of raising from grass to grass. Before she became one of the richest musicians in Kenya, the mother of six used to serve as a house help in her in-law's house. The flamboyant singer married at the age of 14 and so ran away from home to be with his then sweetheart in Migori, where she served as a house girl for seven good years years however this came to her halt when her marriage hit the rocks and left her in law's house but right now she is a business lady having a home which costs over 80 million kenya shillings let us know your thoughts in the comment section number four we do have this tv personality a news presenter on ntv known as mark masai Judging by his physique, dressing style, and looks, it is very difficult to believe that this television sweetheart once worked as a matatu tout, but it is true. For him, it was a family business, and so he ventured into it, not necessarily, but a chance to gain more skills to propel him in life after he finished his high school between 2002 and 2004. This is what he said, and I'll quote, My first job, I was a makanga, that is a tout in industrial area, 
Hillocks. I finished high school in 2002, so between that time and 2004, I did a bit of it because it was a business for our family. I was one of the conductors. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. And do you know Mark Masai? Five, there's this beautiful Kenyan gospel artist and also a pastor known as Saizit. In an interview with Kiss FM, the talented gospel singer once revealed to Shafi Waweru that life was never easy for her when she started her music career back in Caliph Records. We know that she started as a secular artist. She revealed that she used to work by cleaning and cooking dishes for other artists at the veteran Kenyan studio for a living. Let us know what you think in the comment section. Number six, there's this talented rapper here in Kenya known as Calligraph Jones. The Mikasa Sukasa hit maker's past has not been that easy. In an interview with the local blog, Calligraph Jones revealed that he used to work as a bouncer and a garbage collector before fame, but right now he is earning lots of millions just from rapping and being a talented Kenyan artist. Our seventh celebrity who is a beautiful and sassy media personality and also a business lady here in Kenya who is known as Betty Mtei Kialo. The mother of one used to sell earrings. This is what she had to say and I'll quote, I started my business by selling earrings from Du Bois Road. That was my first business. I was selling earrings to my schoolmates. I also sold brass but I didn't make much from it. I want to encourage everybody who is here, no matter what you are doing, as long as you are doing something, keep at it. Keep at it, be consistent and believe in yourself. Betty today is a proud owner of different businesses, among them being Flair by Betty. Number eight, we do have Jamal Rohosafi, whom most of you knew from the drama between Amira and Ambare. After clearing Form 4, Jamal started working as a matatu conductor. He is today a proud owner of more than 32 matatus. He is also the chairman of different matatu circles. Let us know what you think of Jamal in the comment section. Number 9, we do have the president of comedy in Africa and that is Eric Omondi. Now known as the king of East African comedy, Eric is just but a boy that moved from Kisumu to Nairobi in search of a better life. When he arrived at the city, he did all kinds of hustles just to get by, and hustling in Nairobi can be a treacherous endeavor. He was hired at the Kenyan Revenue Authority to work as an errand boy and arrange files. As a side hustle, he acted as a clown for children's parties and also performed as an actual acrobat. But thanks to all the organizational skills he acquired while at the KRA, Eric probably doesn't need a botch or any woman to organize his sock or underwear drawer like most of the men will do. Let us know what you think of Eric in the comment section. Number 10, we do have another talented artist here in Kenya known as Timmy T. Dutt. Timothy Dutt is currently one of the most popular artists here in Kenya. He struggled for a very long time before he released the songs that put him into the limelight. Timothy Dutt has worked as a mitumba, that is second-hand clothes vendor, a garbage collector, and also a tout before his love for music finally paid off. Let us know what you think. 11. There is this another Kenyan talented rapper known as Octopizo. Octopizo's rise to fame is a true rags to riches story and if there is one thing that he has not forgotten, it's where he has come from. The multi-hit maker used to be a casual worker that is Mjengo and a hawker in Mombasa before hitting big with his rapping career. Let us know what you think of Octo in the comment section. 12, we do have a KISS radio presenter and also an aspiring member of parliament known as Jalango.
Before being one of the most celebrated radio hosts in Kenya and rubbing shoulders with the likes of Obama, Felix Odor used to be a houseboy at his uncle's place. In a previous interview with the local daily, the popular radio presenter revealed that he left his fisherman or we can say fishmonger job at the village in Homa Bay that he, and he came to the city, where he used to stay at his rich uncle's place that is in Lovington. He however left his uncle's place to pursue his acting career that landed him a role on Papa Shirandula, which brought him to the limelight. Let us know what you think of Jalango in the comment section. Our second last celebrity, that is number 13, we do have Kabi Wajizas. Right now, Kabi Wajizas being a father of two and also a husband, his family is among one of those families in Kenya which is desired by many people. But back in the days, looking at Kabi Wajizas, you could not know that he could be a dad to this nice family someday. Back in the days, Kabi Wajizas used to be a producer and even at some point, an artist, whereby he is known for the, his famous song known as Bonoko. And lastly, at number 14, we do have Diana Marwa, who is a content creator here in Kenya and also an artist. YouTuber and rapper Diana Marwa opened up on the struggle she faced when she was first employed. The digital content creator revealed that she, was, that she once worked as a receptionist but was unfulfilled and unsatisfied, saying she did not fully understand what she wanted in life at that point. Taking to social media, Diana Marwa told her fans that when she got her first job in 2011, she was a dreamer, but something deep down always kept her going. However, Diana says she is not where she wants to be financially adding that it's been a difficult journey let us know in the comment section if you knew that Diana Marwa at one point was a receptionist getting to hear what these 14 Kenyan celebrities did before becoming famous let us know what you think in the comment section and do you really think that indeed patience pays from the stories of these 14 Kenyan celebrities let us know what you think in the comment section And that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. I really appreciate. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up to show that you really enjoyed. Comment down below. Let us know your thoughts on these 14 Kenyan celebrities and the strange, strange job that they did back in the days. If you are new or you have never subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to always get notified every time I post. And so guys, till next time. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win.